Hi guys and welcome to Frontend Pathsala. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a carousel using Bootstrap 5. Carousel is nothing but a slideshow component for cycling through a series of images. It also includes support for previous and next controls and indicators. This is what we will be creating. So without delaying, let's get started. So here as usual we have a blank HTML file and I have named it as index.html. We will be going to the Bootstrap 5 website and we will just copy the starter template. We'll paste it in our index.html. We'll just remove the unwanted line of codes. Let's change the title Bootstrap 5 Carousel and I have changed the heading to Carousel. First of all, let's download the images in order to create the carousel you can use any images of your choice i am just going to pixabay.com and will be downloading the three images which i will be using in my code After downloading it, I'll copy it in my carousel tutorial folder. I'll create a new folder, images folder and place all the images over there. Let us just rename these images as image 1, 2 and image 3. First of all, let us create a div and we'll use the class container. Here we'll place the carousel. So I'll just move the heading to the inside the container. Next, let us give the image tag and check in the browser. So you can see the image. Now we will use the bootstrap classes. Uh, first we will create a div uh, and give the class carousel. So inside that carousel div we will create another div and name it as carousel inner. Then next comes the carousel item where we will be placing our image just copy the image and paste over there So the carousel is not visible right now. In order to make it visible, we have to add the active class to one of the slides. Let us add the active class. And now it works. 
the image is visible. Next, we'll create the CSS file and give the link in our HTML. We'll take the carousel item class and in the CSS we'll give the height and background color. If you see the image is not fully visible so uh, we'll give the class width 100 and height 100 all of these are bootstrap class we are not writing any extra CSS for this now we'll create the previous and next controls we'll create it using anchor tag and here we will be using the bootstrap class carousel control previous prev and inside that we'll give the icon and for the icon we have the class carousel control previous icon and a text previous and uh, since it will act as a button we'll give role equals to button see in the browser so you can see we have the previous control We'll just copy this and uh, just change the name from previous to next. So it has appeared on the left and right without using any like extra CSS. Bootstrap is handling everything. Similarly, we'll add two more images. Just copy this code and uh, change the image as image 2 and image 3. Next step is we have to give the ID to the main carousel div and uh, we'll give carousel slider. And to the anchor tag, we have to give href is equals to the ID name with the hashtag, which is the symbol of ID. Similarly for the next control. Mm -hmm. 
right now if you click on the previous and next uh, buttons it won't work uh, one more thing which you have to do in order to make it work is we have to add the class slide to the main carousel div and to the anchor tags we have to give data slide is equals to previous and next add the caption like some text which will be meaningful to the images so for that we have the bootstrap class carousel caption and uh, inside that you can add like anything here I'm giving first slide and the text this is the first slide similarly I'm just copying and pasting it for other images and just changing the name to second and third now we are done with the previous and next controls we will now be creating the indicators to do that I will create a ordered list and give the class carousel indicators to it we'll give three indicators indicator elements must have a data target attribute that matches the id of the carousel element so here we'll give data target is equals to carousel slider which is the id of the carousel like uh, we added the data slide for the anchor tag of previous and next control here uh, we have to add data slide to even here we have to add the same just we have to add a uh, text to like data slide to and we have to give the index number starting from zero and even here you have to add the class active uh, for the first list so now if you click on the indicators it will just slide to the images so now we'll give some opacity to the images because right now if you see the text is not that readable so let me just adjust the opacity So guys now we have completed the uh, carousel component of bootstrap 5 and uh, it is very very easy and uh, it is used mostly for the home pages just give it a try and let me know if you get any doubt thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned for the next bootstrap 5 component tutorial and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel